Not all things in our lives are perfectly linear. In fact, most things in our lives follow more of what we call a non-linear relationship. So, in this video, we will be investigating non-linear relations. So if you look at a car going from 0 km per hour to 100 km per hour, you might see a graph that looks more like this as opposed to this. As you can see, x refers to the amount of time that passes by in seconds, while y refers to the number of kilometers that has been traveled. This linear graph would suggest that in the first second, the amount of distance that is made is the same as the next second, or even the last second. But the truth is that cars usually take some time to actually speed up due to their acceleration. So in this non-linear graph, you might expect to see less progress in the first second and quite a bit of progress in the last second. We can also see examples of non-linear relationships when we look at something like weight versus height. If we surveyed 20 different people, we would likely not see a perfect straight line with what we call a perfect correlation. Instead, we would expect to see that, generally speaking, as you weigh more, there's a roughly better chance that you're probably also taller. This graph shows the imperfection in our correlation, but the direction is still quite suggestive. In these situations, we might have been asked to draw a line of best fit, which is a line that best represents the data of a scatter plot and gives us the general direction of the correlation. One thing for sure, however, is that there are situations where we might see the scatter plot itself follow a more curved correlation. Let's say there was a fairly fun game. X represents the amount of time a kid might play that game, and Y represents the amount of happiness that this kid feels from playing it. Perhaps the general scatter plot for 20 kids might look like this, where at first, the more he or she plays the game, the more happiness is felt. The amount of happiness might increase dramatically in the short run, but perhaps in the long run, the amount of happiness they get might decrease when the game becomes a bit boring. In this situation, the graph seems to clearly have some sort of curve that would best represent the data. Thus, our line of best fit would be better described in this case as a curve of best fit, which in essence suggests that the general data itself has a trend that curves. So, since much of life follows a non-linear relationship between any two variables that we might be interested in, we explore different types of functions and relations in math to shed some light on the more practical parts of our lives. So that's it for this rough introduction to investigating non-linear relations. In our next video, we dive right into the concept that we will explore throughout high school called quadratic relations. So we will see you in that lesson.